Hi, welcome to Scott's Invert. So this is the enclosure that I'm going to be using. Nice deep one. I'm going to fill it about three quarters of the way up with substrate. Um, what I'm going to be using is cocoa. Um, what I like to do is get the cocoa block and rip pieces off and just crunch them up into small bits. This way I just find the substrate becomes um, ready to use a lot, lot sooner. So here I am now just powdering it down, ready to add the water. So I add the water and start to give it a good mix. Get that water going all the way through it, make sure all the dry areas become nice and damp. Uh, this is looking like it's gonna need some more water. But I'll carry on mixing so we get that even consistency before adding any more water. So I add some more water here. Just give it another mix round. Make sure that consistency is all the way through your substrate. Um, but I also add sedge peat. So this mix that I'm going to be doing now is actually eight parts coir to two parts sedge peat. So I've added the sedge peat now um, and I'll mix that through. So we again give it a good good mix so we get that consistency all the way through it and then start to fill up your enclosure now it's a good idea just to fill up two to three inches at a time and, and just press it down make it firm but not hard remember the spider has got to dig through this but yeah i'm going to fill it up three quarters of the way and now it's ready for the setup so i'm going to add a nice piece of cork bark and that's hopefully the spider will go underneath there um, where I'm just creating that starter burrow so hopefully she'll go under there and burrow straight down but what else is missing is a water dish so I'm gonna add a water dish now it's quite important to have a water dish in all your enclosures so your animals have always got access to access to water bit of moss to help the cow keep that humidity up Plus, I think I think the green um, the green moss adds um, a little bit more attractiveness to a fossorial setup. So just all I'm doing is just spreading that moss around, getting ready. Give it a good a good spray down. Top up the water dish. And um, what I've also done um, off camera is I added a load of springtails as a clean up crew. Yeah, just dig it, dig that little spot out, ready for um, a starter burrow. So hopefully she'll go underneath there. But it is a Syropagopus Minax that we're going to be rehousing. This is the setup that she came in, which is a cereal box. So she's got plenty of depth, but not very much width to burrow in. So we're going to give her the same depth, but a lot, lot more substrate so she can go sideways, diagonally, wherever she wants. So I've managed to get her out and here she is in the catch cup. Um, they are quite, well, they are very defensive spiders. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to poke and prod her to come out. I'm just going to leave that catch cup like that and just wait for her to come out. And typically she comes out and threat poses on the side of the enclosure. Her fangs there are actually dripping venom. Um, so I'm just backing away and I'm just waiting for her to go back onto the top of the substrate so I can put the lid on. This was a bit of a hair raising moment, but <laughs> don't need to be expected. But yeah, there she is. Syropagopus minax, subadult female, an absolute stunning, stunning, stunning spider. She's absolutely gorgeous. Just sitting on top of a court bar. Like I said, she's got that starter burrow. So she's just having a little feel for a new enclosure and hopefully over the next couple of days, she'll start burrowing down and then I'll probably never see her again because <laughs> they do like to spend a lot, a lot of time inside their burrow. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Remember to give me a sub and uh, hit that notification bell and we'll see you again on the next one.